this video, I am going to show you how to build drag and drop components in React using HTML5 draggable and droppable. We are not going to use any React plugins to build this. Uh, this is purely a HTML5 solution. So for demo purpose, uh, I have already created a uh, list of divs and uh, two containers wherein I will drag this uh, the list of numbers into the containers where, wherever I want. Here this is my uh, sample code to display the list and uh, the containers. So here is my list that comes from my state variable and these are my containers. This is left container and uh, this is right container which I am just uh, displaying whatever content of that is in uh, this right container uh, state variable that is an array of objects. So let's start uh, by defining the draggable element in our page. So which element uh, do you want to drag? For me, I want to drag all this element individually into these containers. So my draggable target is this. So here is my p tag which defines the number. So I'm just making it as a draggable true and now I just need to define the droppable area within this so uh, that is obviously my left container and uh, right container which is this is one and this one. So for uh, making this as a uh, drop, I should uh, add attributes on drag over to allow drag into this uh, container. So the same goes for my right container. So let's define this function. Here I need to prevent all the default events that will happen for the element when we try. Now, uh, when we start our drag, actually we need to set some data for uh, the receiving container to understand uh, the data that, that it is uh, receiving. So for this, uh, while starting the drag, we will push in some data that we need to that uh, element inside that element. So for this on start drag which will in turn call a function to insert data into the data transfer object of this uh, default element for example I'm passing the event and then uh, I just need to pause the item text that comes from this map let's define the function for this Now we just 
need to set the data transfer set data or we can either pass it as a plain text or we can pass it as a json object so for now i am going to use a plain text object here then i am passing the value that is passed from this uh, function here that is text so we can change the effect we can modify the effect of the cursor or when the mouse pointer enters into the uh, droppable area for this uh, we can set that to in this event fair dot drop dot effect so now we are all set with the drag and now we need to focus on the drop just we need to receive this data into the droppable container and we can make use of use of it of like whatever we need to achieve for that uh, we should uh, have a on drop function over here that should uh, Actually, this is for left container, so I'm just uh, having a different function for left and right container over there. E is the default event that will be passed as a parameter to this function. So from this, uh, we can receive the data that was set from the previous function that was in the plain text format So after getting this data, we'll push it to the container object. Let's see. data so I'm just copying this for my element on right container so I make changing it to write so now I am receiving all the data to the right container and I'm setting it to the state. Here, I guess, to make it as on drop right. Uh, let's uh, check the output of this program. Mm, yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, this is uh, 
not on start drag, it's on drag start. Here it is, drop the fact. Set it up. Let's check for the Roblox program now. We have this. If we check now, uh, this is made as a draggable element, but previously it was not. Let's say I'm dragging this, and if I move into the container, my mouse pointer will indicate that uh, this is a drop zone so i am dropping here and the text that was sent from this uh, dragged element is this text so i am receiving that in the container and i am displaying it in this container so let's say i am dragging 3 to this so it depends on your requirement uh, whether to restrict the same element dragged into a same container. So this is a HTML5 solution, and uh, I haven't tested it in uh, mobile yet. So start testing it in mobile before using it in your project. This is pretty simple and straightforward, isn't it? Thanks for watching, guys. To get updates, uh, subscribe to the channel.